All right, it's got a beautiful day here, end of March. I'm out here with my high ace. Um, just got it in a couple of weeks ago, and this project, I haven't found anything of anybody doing this. Um, I got to find out the front gear ratio to match the back gear ratio. The front wheels are 15 inch, and the rear wheels a 13.5. Five. five lug, six lug. All right, I got a set of six lug axles. Um, I already talked to East Coast Gear down in uh, North Carolina. And um, once I get the gear ratio, I can give them a call. Um, I measured the housing and everything for the rear axle. And it's the same as my 89 Toyota pickup for measurements. So I'm hoping I can just do a basic axle uh, gear swap and have the same size tires on the front and the back. I got computer out here, my endoscope. Um, let's go in and see if we can get a reading. I already got the drain plug out, draining the oil. Uh, looks like it lines up pretty much with the um, ring gear. And I'm hoping that I can get a reading off it and find the gears without pulling the thing apart. Here we go. Okay, well the endoscope wouldn't work. I couldn't line the ring up with the um, holes for the filling the um, gears or draining the gears. It was too much one side or the other. So now I'm pulling off the mount, which I got to pull out this bolt right here. This bolt right here. And I already got the big bolt out from here. Broke it loose. This one right here. Got that down. That's what holds the front carrier in. Um, and um, then I got to pull off the cover. Alright, let me get the bolts out. I'll be right back. Okay, we got one more bolt in the back of the carrier going to the mount kind of tight I'm laying on my back here right here got this one right here to pull out and then the this bracket right here that supports the carrier the front side should drop right out okay we got all the bolts out and the cover and everything I don't think the cover's gonna come off with the rack here, but all I have to do is pop it open far enough and then look inside with my endoscope to try to get the numbers off the ring. That's the mission. The hole was too far over to the side here. This hole was too far over to the side here, and the ring kind of falls right in the middle of the rib right here, so I couldn't quite get around. Okay. Uh, I'll be back in a second. Let me get the cover popped. I don't want to get gear oil all over my GoPro. Okay, the cover came off right out of the way. Yay! It's an open diff. Okay, now here's the next step. Let's see if I can get it to turn. Pretty tight underneath here. And, um, you just bear with me a second here. One reason I want to put taller tires on this thing, because I got it on a jack right now, and the wheels are up off the ground a little bit. And I'm not that big, and it's tight. Like, really tight. Let's see what happens here. All right. Then get to the dry shaft. Alrighty. See if we can't find the gear number. Round and round and round we go. Should be stamped right in the ring. Unless Japan does things differently. Who knows? I'm not seeing nothing yet.
All right, give me a second here. I'll be back. I think I've been around. All right, I'm back. Well, there ain't no number in the ring whatsoever. So, here's the next best thing. I mark the ring. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to see in the back. I marked the pinion. I'm going to count and see what we got for teeth. All right, here we go. I'll be back. I'm not going to try to do this with um, holding the GoPro. Just not easy. I can't screw this one up. All right, counted all the teeth. Came up with 41 on the ring, 8 on the pinion. Now I'm going to go call East Coast Gear, see what they have to say.